Boda. Oh my God, Boda. Boda. <laughs> we don't know who is the culprit. Boda. Once I remove the virus, I'm about to see a computer will run faster. You have been invaded by Boda. <laughs> Hey guys, Bodie here, and welcome to another Friday Night Scammer Destruction. Tonight we have a call to a PCH scammer. This is an ongoing scam bait, one you can continue following on my second channel. These calls result in enough information to file a comprehensive report to the FBI, so sit back and relax because we're going to mess with some scammers. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm not doing too bad. Who is this? Uh, this is uh, the claims office. You're speaking with uh, Mr. Wrestler. How are you? I'm not doing too bad. I, oh. I don't know. Okay. I was, uh, I'm not sure. I have not checked my, my, uh, my phone call log in a while, and I just seen this phone number. I didn't know who it was. <laughs> okay. Well, you're speaking with, as I said, Mr. Donald Wrestler. This is the unclaimed department of Publishers Clearinghouse. Pleasant good morning to you, ma'am. Oh, okay. Well, good morning to you as well. It's a beautiful day out. Oh my goodness! I woke up and oh, saw my. the weather out, and I said, "Oh, it's about time I get out into the garden." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's absolutely beautiful from this morning, and I should say, uh, it's actually. Very, very peaceful and happy over the weekend. So. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it was a beautiful weekend, uh, Easter weekend. Yes, I spent a lot of time Absolutely. in church and with lots of with well, friends. And well, that's great because I spend uh, a whole deal of time, a lot of time with family, with friends, and uh, I should say I basically more of a get-together. Most oh. families we have in years. Yeah, it was, oh, I said nice. it was very small, very happy. And I think it's resulting over into today as well and for the further of the week. Yes, yeah, that's that's one. All right. Now, as I said, my name is Donald Wrestler. I am the senior vice president of Publishers Clearinghouse, ma'am. And uh, I could see we have been trying to get in contact with you. Did you receive some letters within your mail recently from our company? Well, I, I haven't received anything. That's, but uh, but uh, there was some problems with the mail uh, as of recently, so maybe it got caught up in, in all of that uh, hoopla okay. that was going around. Yeah. Right, I do understand because we, myself personally, have been trying to get a hold of you and we have been sending you two letters from approximately three weeks now in your mail to inform you about a prize award that you were selected for within the month of March. That's how long March. we have been, yes, previously. That's just, yeah. We have been sending you the letters, two letters to be exact, to inform you, to notify you, and to congratulate you for being selected as our first place winner under our senior citizen raffle. Oh Congratulations. Goodness. to oh, you. Thank you so much. Goodness, I haven't, I haven't won anything. Uh, before you know, I, I, I'm not a big gambler myself, but uh, uh, but uh, no, I've oh my goodness, I've I've entered some uh, uh, raffles before, but oh my god, you know I have uh, I have uh, a subscription to uh, People Magazine, and and I, I uh, uh, apply to some of the things in there. I'm not sure if this had something to do with that or not. Possibly, most definitely, and I I will most mostly outline in to you the different uh, methods and forms in which you have been selected. And are you familiar with the Reader's Digest? Oh, yes, yeah, I have a Reader's Digest. I used to have a Reader's Digest subscription. Now, I, I did uh, I did stop the, uh, the subscription probably about a year and a half. Oh, my God. Wonderful. So that's also one of the main methods as to how your subscriptions could have been filled in and could have been drafted under our raffle. Now, let me ask this question, ma'am. Is this your first time speaking to a representative or an agent from our company? Well, yes, yeah. I called and you picked up right away. 
wonderful, perfect, because we have been trying to get a hold of you from several weeks now. Well, now, as I, I said, why. I don't know why you wouldn't have been able to get a hold of me. Uh, I mean, I missed oh. the call. I, I do, there's times that I do go out, so, you know, I have to go out uh, to do uh, certain things if I need to go to the market or if I need to uh, go uh, over to uh, Michelle's house and help her do something. Maybe she's uh, needed help uh, jarring some, uh, doing some canning right. or something like that, and then I'll go over there. But, uh, you know, I, I can't be gone for a couple of hours, so I do. And I do uh, for, uh, quite often uh, kind of forget to check the uh, the missed uh, calls on the because you have to press a whole bunch of different buttons on the on the phone. It's almost like right. a computer. These phones, they're almost like a computer. I tell you what, well, babe, you have to do you know all the commands and different all the uh, all the ways to do it. It's like a puzzle. Sometimes you have to press it in certain orders. And, oh yes, but I, I get on and I do. And I know that's my fault, and I, I forget. And I'll have some friends that will call and uh, tell me that uh, you know they've been trying to get a hold of me as well, but they can't. <laughs> they end up. They did. I see. I I checked the. The, the call logs, and I see that they called, but it's already been a couple of days after. <laughs> so. I do understand. I know these cell phones, you know, these these devices are like, you know, walking computers in your hands nowadays. So, yeah, if you get a bit uh, frustrated, sometimes you, you, you tend to fall off on what you're doing because, you know, you have to do a lot of things in terms of just getting to a number to try and call it back sometimes. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so that's why. All right, so what I need for you to do, and it's very, very good, as I said, the Lord is, the Lord is working in mysterious ways, and it's very, very good that you call the company back now. So we can start filling you in with all your necessary and your detailed information that you will be needed to claim and receive this prize award, okay? All right, yes, yeah, sure. All right, wonderful. Now, what I would like for you to do at this time is to get yourself a clean sheet of paper and a good working pen or pencil so I can provide you with some information on behalf of our company now, okay? All right, yes. Yeah. All right, can you just please take your time, get those in your position, and when you do, you can just simply let me know, okay? All right, I need to go. I need to get myself a glass of prune juice here as well, so just give me a quick moment. Or I'm going to be probably a, a minute or two, okay? Absolutely no problem, sweetheart. Okay. Take your it, it takes time. me a little while to get around the house, and th this phone is a is a uh, uh, it's a corded it's phone, phone, so it's a corded phone, so I can't move around with the phone, so I have to put the phone down, and I don't move right. as quick as I used to. <laughs> Honey, that's no problem. I'm not going nowhere. You have me all day, so you can take your time. I will be here on the line. Okay. All right. Okay. One. Okay. All right, I'm back. Okay, uh, wonderful. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I'm just going to take some medicine from this vape. Okay, you want to take the medicines first? <coughs> it doesn't. <coughs> it doesn't take long. <coughs> I have this little, it's like a little, almost looks like a pen. Oh, it's something that you can cross with, right? <laughs> and it, and you, pu you puff on one end, and... <coughs> and then the, Are you ill? Yeah, it's, a, and the, it's like a, it's not smoke, it's vapor. My doctor said it's good for my arthritis. <coughs> <laughs> oh. uh, uh, okay. All right. That's all I need for now. And I don't. Okay. I used to have to get uh, my nephew to roll up like uh, the cigarettes of of the cannabis, but but I would have to. That was like a smoking, almost like a cigarette. I don't like that. This is much better. Right. Okay. All, all right. right. Now, so you have something. 
You have a pen and you have a piece of paper? Oh, yes. And uh, what did I need? All right. Now, firstly, you're going to write down my name. Do you remember my name? <laughs> I don't know what was your name, sorry, dear. My name is Donald Wrestler. Donald, Donald right. Trump. Donald Wrestler. Right. Like Hulk wrestler, Hogan. right. Not not wrestler, but as in R E S S L E R. Oh, okay. Uh, w R W R E S S L E R. No, you're not gonna have. You're not gonna have W. You're gonna have only only have R E S. S oh, okay. Oh, L- uh, R-E-S-S- R-E-S-T-L-E-R? No, not T. L-E-R. Yeah, R-E-S-T-L-E-R. Is that what you R-E- said? R-E... No. R-E-S-S... Oh, two S's. S-S- S-T-L-E-R. And then L-E-R. No T's. Only L-E-R. Oh, oh, no t- So, place the T with it. All right, I get it. Right. R-E-S-S-L-E-R. Perfect. Oh, that's right. good. That's wonderful. So, that's Donald Wrestler. <laughs> I used to be all... Uh, I used to watch a lot of the, uh, the that wrestling when my husband was alive because he really liked, liked the, the way, it. was back when it was like, like Hulk Hogan. Right. Oh, yeah, I love that stuff. It was a great sport. And it's then the, great the, the Ric Flair. The Ric Flair? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! yeah and, and the John Cena's and all of them, you know? Uh, who? John Cena. Oh, I've never heard of him. You never heard of John Cena? You're familiar with The Rock? Oh, The Rock, yes, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, and you're, you're not familiar with John Cena? No. <laughs> all right, are you familiar well, I... with like Triple H? No, I know Hulk Hogan. And uh, Rick Flair. That's oh, really all okay. I remember. Are... Oh, there was a there was a guy that there was a guy that played a guitar or something. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, well that's no and problem. I don't want to take. There was a guy that I remember. There was a guy that had a snake, and he they they oh my goodness my my husband Jerry would he would <laughs> he would tell he would call me into the room when when he would come in because he knew he knows that I, he knew that I I hated snakes so he would always call me I hate snakes you know when you live in uh, Texas you, you kind of uh, you either learn to love them or hate them <laughs> you always be right. looking out for them for those rattlers uh, you know they could be hiding anywhere in the in the bush so you want to be uh, taking the roads if you're walking anywhere. Right, they're always there. Now I am, I am the senior vice president. The senior vice oh, my president. Goodness. Well, congratulations, dear. That's a that, that is Thank a, you. A, a pretty good uh, title. I know. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, my, very outstanding. Uh, but my my cousin is uh, he's uh, he's on uh, a board of uh, he he has a title like that like he's uh, I forget what his his name is it's some senior something I don't know but I know he's okay. been working there for an awful long time and it takes a lot of a lot of dedication to get to get to that sort of a position. They need to right, have a lot right. of trust of, of everybody. Exactly. So you imagine how trustworthy, how dedicated, and how uh, kind and open I am to be in the position I'm in now. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Now, and do you remember the name of my company? That's Publishers Clearing House. You could have P C H for the abbreviation, okay. right? And our company is located on 101 Winner's Circle, okay. the city, Jericho, the state, New York, and the zip code 11753. 1753, right? Wonderful. Now I'm going to give you my badge number for the company. That's my badge number. Okay. That's B, light boy. All right. Three three six three. Okay. A like apple seven zero. Okay. Wonderful. Now I'm gonna also provide you with our company's telephone number. And can you also know this number that you contacted me from, right? Yes, yeah. Exactly. So I'm gonna provide you with our uh, telephone number here for the offices, which is eight zero five five nine. Three seven nine two okay, three. What, what was that? Sorry. 
You were cutting in and out there for a second. I couldn't hear you. All right. I'm going to repeat, okay? Okay. What what are you repeating? The telephone number. Okay. Right. So if we're not reachable on this line, you can contact us from the second line, which is 805-593-7923. All right. So that's our telephone number. Now, you're going to write down... The prize award that you were selected for from our senior citizen promotion. Okay? All right. And that's the first place award of $3.5 million. Um, okay. And that will be presented as a cashier's check. A cashier's check issued from the bank of America. All right. Right. Along with that, you also will be receiving a weekly and a bonus award of $5,000 each and every week for the rest of your life. Um, And that's also another cashier's check that will be issued to you each and every week from the Bank of America. So both of your checks that you're going to be receiving on your delivery, they will be issued directly from the Bank of America, ma'am. Okay? All right. Okay. Wonderful. Now, along with that, you also should receive a brand new car. Are you still within a position that you can drive? Um, yes, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Now, there is an additional award to the package, which is a brand new 2022 Mercedes Benz. Oh, my. And on behalf of Publishers Clearinghouse, we want to wish you a warm congratulations and welcome to our family here. Thank you. Thank you so much. (laughs) You're most absolutely welcome. Right. So both of those checks and your car, they are authorized to be delivered to you at your residence. But now you are going to write down your prize package number. So you could have the abbreviation for prize package number as PPN. That will be your prize package number. All right. Okay. Right. And it begins with the initial of your first name and also the initial of your last name. <coughs> All right. And then you're going to have the numbers 757303U, U.S. as in United States. All right. Now, that information is very, very important. That information is for you to keep within your own usage. You should never, ever say that information to anyone. You should never provide it to anyone because if anyone gets a hold of that information, they could easily use it to claim and receive your assets instead of you. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. So that's a very, very important information that whenever anyone should call you, if anyone calls you or if you contact anyone claiming that they are with our company, you must ask for your PPN. You know what the PPN is already? So you just it's ask, what's L-H-7-5-7-3-0-3-U-S. my PPN? Exactly. And you, you should never say to anyone. You should ask yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. And if it's, if it's not been given to you within 5 to 10 seconds, then you should just, you just hang up. You don't hesitate. You just go ahead. You just hang right up. Okay? Okay. Right, right. So it's a very, very private and it's a very, very important information that is basically required for you to keep, to use until you have received and claimed the prize from our prize control team. Okay? Right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, today, uh, we are intending to make up grounds and to work as efficiently as possible as we can to get your prize delivered to you before this week is over. All right? All right. Okay. 
Right. Now, today is actually Tuesday. It's the 11th of April, and we have until about the 17th of this month to get your prize scheduled, to get your prize prepared and delivered to you as quickly as possible. Because let me inform you now, ma'am, mainly because our company had sent out the letters to you approximately three and a half leading up to four weeks now without any response that came from the letter. Your prize was currently placed on hold, placed on pending for further notices and further information. So that's why we have been trying to reach out to you via telephone to get in contact to verify if you did not receive the letters or if you were simply not interested to claim and receive what you have been selected here from our company now. Okay? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So basically, your state is currently having your prize under, I should say, a deadline, a specific time frame in which we should get your prize out to you before your state imposes any power attorney over your asset, okay? All right. All right. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to break it down to you, ma'am, and outline and inform you how you were selected for this prize because I know in any event that right now you are very, very much super excited. Oh, yes. Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. That's okay. Just yes. take your time, honey. I understand. You're nervously happy right now, yes. super excited, yeah. right? Feeling feeling like uh, uh, the clouds burst <laughs> open, a tears of joy for you oh, right my now. Goodness, yes. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly the feeling you should have, and that's exactly how you should be feeling, knowing that you have legally won this award and you're speaking to the senior vice president of the company now, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. Now, there is multiple ways in which you could have been selected for this prize award, such uh, as, yeah, yeah, such as whenever you shop at any of the convenient or pharmaceutical stores, such as Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, 7-Eleven, okay. Hey, well, I do go to, I go to a lot of them, a lot, a lot, that's right, I go to a lot of them, I go to them exactly. all the time. Exactly, so that's what I'm saying, whenever you go to any of those stores and you purchase an item over a dollar and 55 cents, you would have automatically gained, you would have received 700 entries each and every month to be selected as a winner from the publisher's clearinghouse now, okay? Yeah, oh my goodness. What's that? What's that? I'm saying, what's yeah. that in the background? Oh, that's just a... Uh, <laughs> it's William, but uh, it's just a pet I have. Sorry, I'll go into oh. another room. Okay, yeah, do that for me, thank you. All right, he gets, he gets a little bit loud. When I go in there, he gets all excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably it's, it's his time of day. Yes, yeah. Okay, so what, sorry, what were you saying? Now, I'm saying whenever you go to any of those stores and you make a purchase of over a dollar and 55 cents, you would have automatically received 700 entries each and every month to be notified as a winner from Publisher's Clearinghouse now, Holy. okay? Okay, well, that's probably why I won. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. That's one of the main ways or main methods how your name was selected in our system. And also, my whenever you subscribe, whenever you make entries, whenever you play the Publisher's Clearinghouse over the course of 15 to 20 years, Whenever you pay your utility yeah. bills on time, your credit card bills on time, you would have automatically received 1,000 entries every month. Oh 1,000 entries to be selected as a winner here from the company. So that's mainly how your name, 
your telephone number, your address, and your zip code was emerged through our computer ballot system that gathers okay. entries. Yeah. That, that gathers entry yeah. of over one million citizens like yourself from multiple states such as New York, California, Washington, Texas, Tennessee, Georgia, North and South Carolina, Utah, uh, Minnesota, Massachusetts, and also Connecticut. The ballot, they were drawn in the month of March, and you have been successfully emerged as the first place winner to receive the lump sum presentation. So on behalf of Publishers Clearing House, me, Mr. Wrestler, we would like to wish you a warm and a special congratulations once more, ma'am. Oh, well, thank, thank you so much. You're, you're, you're most definitely welcome. Welcome on board here at the PCH team. Welcome to Financial Freedom. And how do you feel at this time to be notified about your award, ma'am? Well, I feel just... <laughs> I feel elated. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I'm, I'm, just, I'm so excited. I, I have so many different ideas for uh, for this money. But, okay. And if I, know, I know this amount will do a, a large, if not a whole world of good for you. Oh, yes, it certainly will. And also, I should say family members, church members, persons within like uh, nursing homes. Can you hold on a moment? I need, can you hold on a moment? Just hold on a moment. I'm sorry? Can you hold yeah, on no a quick problem. moment? Yeah, okay, just hold on. No problem. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Do you have company? Uh, no, that was just one of the farmhands. They were, uh, they, oh, they, you, they you, got, you, they you got a, a little, they got a little boo-boo, so, <laughs> so okay. I, had to, I had to go now, help. You have, you have a farm of your own? Yes, yeah. Okay, because I, I know I heard multiple different animal noises. Yes, yeah. Within your... I thought at one point I heard a pig. Pointing. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. We have we have pigs here. I was just over by the pigs. That's what he, right. the, one of the one of the pigs I, that uh, bit the the tip of his finger off. That's all. Oh, okay. And they came up close. They came up close to the house. Oh, they were. They came, yeah, yeah. They're oh, they're, okay, they're free roaming. We have a free roaming farm here. That's good. And what do you raise on your farm? Oh, there's all, all kinds of different animals. We have uh, horses, pigs, and sheep, uh, goats, and uh, we, have, we have cows. I should say it's a big it's a big farm. Then you have yeah. cattle, you have sheep, yeah. you have goats. Yeah. You also have chickens, I assume. Yeah. Right. Do you? What else I Open could the think store. of? You Let have me look out here. All right. Okay. They're okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry about that. Well, that's no problem, honey. As I said, with me. Remember, sweetheart, you're a senior citizen. You're someone who I look up to, who I respect, who I categorize as my mom, my grandparents, my elders. So I have nothing but respect but love, but honesty, safety, and protection for you. Okay. You you will be treated and you will be dealt with in a much more precautionary fashion, a much more easier and a much more satisfying comfort that you will be receiving from myself towards you until you had safely and successfully received this prize award, ma'am. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Right. Well, you're welcome, honey. So I myself now, you can basically see it this way. We are bonding a relationship together. I'm getting to probably know you a bit more. You get to know me a bit more. And we get very, very, I should say, close until we had delivered the prize to you. Because remember, 
Yeah, this is not something that happens every day or every other day. You have to be truly a God-gifted, God-serving, a God-blessed, and a God-fearing person to be elected, to be drafted within the position that you are in now, right? Yeah, yeah. Absolute, absolutely, and you're still going to church on Sundays, correct? Oh, yes, yes. Such as myself, because let me give you a little hint on uh, me, myself, because I was born, I was born and raised within, a, uh, I should say, a Christian, a Christian family, a Christian household. Basically, my mom, my dad, they were both ministers of the church we attended over the years. They still have shares within the church now. I was mm-hmm. born and raised with three basic methods, three basic ways going forward in life is to always appreciate, never look down, and to love and care for everyone. So I don't find anyone different than ourself. We're all human beings. We should all be treated with respect and love, and we should all be happy. Right? Yes, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. It doesn't matter your size. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter your position. It doesn't matter what you own, what you have achieved. You should always provide the love, the care, and the exception to each and every one. Yeah. And as I said, I have nothing but love, but honesty, but trust, protection, and safety for you. I'm a very, very trustworthy I'm a very honest and I'm a very, very professional person. As you can see, that's the main result why I am in this position. I've been with the Publishers Clearinghouse for three decades now, to be exact. Three decades. I have received nine Agents of the Year Award. That's the most for any agent within the history of a sweepstakes company. Yep, sorry. So as I said, I'm very, very professional, very honest, and I have nothing but love, trust, and protection for you now. Okay? All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. It might be loud, is it? Yeah, it's a bit loud. Is that a television okay. or radio or something? Uh, it's a gr- uh, meat grinder. I have an industrial meat oh. grinder for uh, grinding up the bones and, and uh, old steer meat and stuff. Oh, okay. So you guys do, like, uh, packaging with meats and have them distributed to different locations? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we, we do package it and for, for other farms and stuff. Oh. Okay, and that's like within your same state or sometimes other states you do like. That's a business of yours, correct? Well, it's, a, a, it's more of a byproduct. And when you have a farm, you have a lot of byproducts that you want to try to uh, uh, try to capitalize on as much as possible. So ev- every single, right down to the manure that, that, that the animals, uh, sh- you know, shit out, uh, you're going to be able right. to sell. So, you know, you sell all the bones to the people that make the, the gelatin. Uh, you sell the uh, uh, the the bad meat uh, as uh, as feed to some, maybe to the zoos or something that, uh, you know, there's different places that will buy it uh, for some of the carnivores that they, that they keep around, right? Uh, so there's always a need for that kind of a meat. Um, there's, all, there's all kinds of different products on a, on a farm. Multiple products that oh, you yes, can yeah, utilize yeah, yeah. to turn it into profit as well. Yeah. All right, that's and that's very, very good. That's very, very good. Now, what I would like to do at this time, ma'am, is just to get uh, your TW1 winner's IRS form. That's a business related form that will be requiring a few business related information that will be processed and verified by the Internal Revenue Services so they could know what tax bracket or what tax ratio you should be enrolled in, ma'am. Okay? Right, okay. Wonderful. Because, honey, as I said, I'm a person, I'm very honest, and over my 30 years here at the company, I know one thing for sure and one thing for certain. 
the government, their only concern and their main priority and concern is about your money. Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> For each and every one, I'm being very honest. That's their main concern about their money and their legislation as to how the money goes. Yes, well. So we have to make sure. Right, well, you have well, to make uh, sure. Air aircraft money. carriers are very expensive. <laughs> You know. <laughs> exactly, exactly, you know, so uh, it's something that we all uh, have to live with and understand, right? Yeah. Now, are you an American citizen by birth or by marriage? Oh, yes, I was born here. Wonderful. I was born in New Jersey. Now, if you were born in New Jersey. Okay, yeah. wonderful. Now, if, if anything should be wrong with you, ma'am, God forbid, who would you like? to be your second beneficiary of your prize award. Uh, Jesus Christ. Let's take your time. Jesus you could have Christ. one person, you could have two persons. I, I want you Jesus could have, Christ. You want Jesus Christ to be your secondary beneficiary? Yes, yeah. So you don't have like a, a, a do you have kids? No, no, I never had children. Oh, you never, okay, I do understand. And, all right, so you don't really have a secondary benefit. And as you well, said, my uh, well, condolences. Well, no, we could give it to Michelle, last, Michelle Hunt. Michelle Hunt. Yes, two T's. Okay, all right, and as you said, what's your current marital status, ma'am? I'm widowed. Widowed, okay. And how would you like your delivery to be made out to you, ma'am? Whether you like it to be oh, publicized. To, uh, to my door? Yeah, I know, but let me inform you. There is various methods as to how you could get your prize delivered because what you see on television, to be honest, those persons insisted to have it publicized. They're aware of uh, the, the delivery that will be made, and it's just for television, broadcasting, and companies, right? Because there is two options that are wavered. There is the publicized, whether you like to be publicized, where you'd like to be on television, you'd like to have it on the radio, via the internet, or whether you like it to remain strictly private and confidential. Well, I, I would like it to be uh, public, but it is. Uh, I think that there's probably some concerns with that, you know. If, well, uh, yeah, to be honest, and that, <laughs> to be honest not, here's, here's, a, not here's, every person, here's a little joke every, for you. Here's a little joke for you. Why did the publisher's clearinghouse winner cross the road? <laughs> to, I'm not certain, probably, to be targeted. To, to, to avoid all the new friends who sh suddenly showed up at their doorstep. <laughs> so, Absolutely. You know, I, I think that may, uh, maybe that if I went public, that you would probably have a lot of people uh, uh, showing up at, at my door. Especially Anonymous if there's a camera person. right on my front doorstep and they know exactly what my doorstep looks like. It looks like. Exactly what your area, what your street looks like. And to be honest, most persons insist to have full confidentiality because like yourself and like others, they're seniors. Most, some of them are, you know, singled, widowed. They live alone and they would not like to be targeted, not like to be a concern to people, beating down your doorway, receiving relentless junk mails even receiving numerous phone calls trying to, for persons trying to deprive you or get some money out of what you have been selected for. Yeah. So I think as someone I could say as your, 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 your son, your grandson, under that perspective, it would be the most preferable, most comfortable for you to get your business done confident and have your price delivered private have your business done confidentially, you continue your future and you continue your life with what you're doing confidentially, man. Okay? Yeah. Right. So confidential means that your prize will be broadcasted, would not be highlighted to any third parties apart from our sponsors, such as the United States Department of Treasury, Federal Reserve Institution, the Federal Trading Commission, and also with the Bank of America. So apart from those entities, no other company, no other institution, no other department will have any awareness about your prize that will be delivered.
referred to you, ma'am. Okay? All right. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. And that all... I'm sorry? Hello? Mm-hmm. Hello? <coughs> Hello? I thought I lost you there. Are you okay? No, no I'm here. I'm here. Okay. <sighs> Also refers, also refers to you, ma'am, that you're going to keep your, your business fully confidential down to the very mm. last detail you had successfully paid and received your prize, okay? All right. Hello? 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 Yes, ma'am. Are you, are you feeling okay? Are you doing something? Are you apart from the phone? I'm just taking hits off of this uh, vape. I didn't hear you properly. Are you doing I'm something take, at this I'm, time? I'm taking hits off of this vape. <laughs> oh, you're taking hits off. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I, I see. I see. And that's something that works and helps with your arthritis? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you want a moment? Feel better uh, now? I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay. I'm okay. I can great. I can hear great. you. I don't. I think that you just can't hear me because I heard, I, heard, I, I, heard, I, heard, I heard you when you when you were talking. I just I just didn't. I think you just didn't hear me. Uh, yeah, I can me. hear you. Uh, I can oh, hear you. So, can you sorry. hear me? Burping right into sorry about. That. Oh. Uh, oh, why am I burping so much? So you you took the vape moment few moments ago. Uh, 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 <laughs> Baby doesn't make me burp. Okay. Uh, uh, is this your cell phone uh, or is this your laptop? probably the prune juice that I drank. I've been drinking this prune juice. Uh, try to make it I mean, a little bit more regular, you know. Right. Sometimes it's a, it's it's sometimes it's two days before I have a a movement. So I try to take the the prune juice uh, earlier in the day, so that maybe before I go to bed I can have a movement. Because it, it gets awfully right. uncomfortable at night when you when you're all bound up. I know you probably okay. don't know about that yet, being a youngin. But you prune juice. Output oh, your circulation. Yeah. Right, right. Now, is this your cell phone or is this your landline? Is what? Is this a cell phone? I'm, on, I'm in Texas. A... I'm on the land. You're... No, I'm saying, is this the phone that you are on now? Is this your cellular phone? Or is this your landline? Oh, it's um, it, it it's the yeah, it's a what do you say land the landline yeah. It's yeah, the is this a your wire cell phone? It goes to the phone. It goes it goes to the wall. I have it up on it the goes wall. To the, okay, so do you have a cell phone, ma'am? No, no, I don't have a cell. Phone. You do not use a cell phone, so this no. is a landline phone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you do not have a cell phone like an iPhone or an a Samsung. So Android phone. No, no. Michelle has one of those. She uses one of those, but I, I don't I don't have a need for one of them. Oh, oh okay. So you just use your landline. I yeah. understand. Okay, yeah, I have a computer now, downstairs I, that I that I if I need anything digital like that. But I, even that what, I don't need to use very often. I what's your email address? Do you oh, do know your email address? Uh, Goodness, um, I think it's. Uh... Take your time, honey. Oh. Even if you have to look on something, just take time. Remember, as I said, we are not in a rush, and we are definitely not hurried right now. So, if you can take your time to pull the email address from your booklet somewhere you have it written down or so, or if you have it or remember it, you can just simply provide it to. Me. Yeah, let me, let me look. I think I have it. Some... All right. Take your time, honey. Take your time. It's, uh, I have it here. here it All right. It's S-N-I-V. All right. L-E-S. Okay. N-O-T. Okay. At gmail.com. Okay, wonderful. So I'm just going to repeat it for you, honey, to make sure that I have it correct, okay? Yeah. All right, there. It's S N S as in Sam, N as in Nancy, I as in inside, V as in victory, L as in love, E as in elephant, S as in sun, N as in Nancy, O as in open, T 
As in tree. Uh, correct, yeah. Right. And your email, it still works, right? So if the company should send you an email, say, later today with some information, you can be able to receive it, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. No problem. So I'm going to make sure that it's being done and you get some proof, some documentation form in your position, something that you can look at. You can actually see with your yeah. physical eyes. Yeah. to see that what you are going to be receiving. Yes, honey, because I said, I'm a, I'm a gentleman. I'm a sweetheart, honey. I'm here to protect, provide, and to guide you along the path of this legal sweepstakes you had won. Right. Okay? Well, you certainly sound it. I am. I am. And I'm going to make sure that I will most definitely have this delivery being memorable, something that you can always remember and cherish before, you know, your path in your day had come, okay? Yes, yeah. Wonderful. Now, what, what is your, 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 and I should say, what's your current age now, honey? I'm 74. 74. Oh, my God. And I must say, you sound absolutely sweet. You sound very strong. And you still sound very healthy there within your voice. Oh, well, thank you, dear. Thank you very much. I try to keep as active as I can. Now, I don't do uh, any of the uh, real uh, labor on the farm anymore, but uh, I try to still uh, do my rounds and take a look at everything and see right. how things are going, but I don't get into the dirt or anything. <laughs> I would never <laughs> really was one for getting into the dirt, but I, I did it. I definitely did. It. I have been. I've had my uh, my arm uh, elbow deep up up a, a cow's asshole. So I've been I've been in 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 it in it you know pretty deep. So uh, but right. uh, yeah. But nowadays you have I don't I don't really do all all of that that much. No, that's not for you anymore. No. That's not for you. That's why you have labor. That's why you 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 pay persons to work for you. Yes. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. You don't have to do that anymore. That's very good. And I understand that when you're a bit, I should say, a bit younger, when your husband was around you, 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 you get down, you do the work, you do the dirty work, not saying entirely, but you, 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 you stay active, you do what you got to do. And as you said, yes. as you, said you have like, like an elbow, a uh, length, uh, like an elbow length yeah. up with the yes. house. <laughs> yeah. I, I know exactly how that is. That, that's good to know. And What's your current disabilities that you're, you're, you're facing now? What's what? Do you have any disabilities that you're facing at this time? Well, uh, the, uh, oh, oh, just give me a moment. I have door. All right. Hello? Yeah, hello. Uh, yes. Hello? Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Well, that's no problem, honey. You got to do what you got to do, okay? Yeah. No problem. Uh, Wonderful. Now, as I was simply saying that, yeah, the... The email is going to be sent to you so you could actually have something in written form, something in proof that you're going to also see in your position. And you said apart from, as you say, it's only disability that you're facing now is just simply the small arthritis that you have, you said? Uh, arthritis and I, uh, I have some glaucoma uh, and I, have, uh, I do have high blood pressure. Okay. So I'm most definitely sure it's not going to be a position with me at no point that your pressure is going to be raised. Rather, it's going to be monitored and it's going to be, I should say, controlled after receiving this whopping check from the car oh, at your residence. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, it's going to be. And as you said, one more time, this is your only reachable phone number that the company can get a hold of you from? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay. All right, now, what I would like to do, because I think I'm getting a bit jealous now of saying, sweetheart and ma'am, I want to start, you know, I should say, more closer. Now, what's the correct pronunciation of your last name, honey? Uh, hammer. Is that Hammer or Hammer? Hammer. H-A-M-M-A-A. -A -A. Okay, wonderful. This is Hammer, because I want to make sure also that on the check that the spellings or indeed correct. And do you have a middle initial that you utilize? Uh, K for Karen. K for Karen. Yes, right. but I'm not going to call the manager, don't you worry. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> All right. And can you please provide the correct pronunciation of your first name, sweetheart? Just the pronunciation. Lily. All right. Lily. I thought it was Lil. So that's why I want to make sure that I have the correct pronunciation and also don't make any mistakes because I'm not certain if you're familiar with incidents like that before. I've been through that position where I, I made a bad pronunciation of a person's name, and it, it, it tends to be something like, uh, I should say, a disrespect, or I, I, I often them. In, yes, in some yeah. ways... Yeah. I, I you know. did that one time as well. I did that, well, I did it with my, my husband, whose name was Jerry, and one time when we were making love, I called him Mark. Oh, my God. He wasn't happy oh. about that mispronunciation. Right, right, right. I understand. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Now, Lily, that's L-I-L-L-I-E, correct? No, L-I-L-L-Y. L-L-Y, okay. Yes. Now, I just, yeah, the, it's why sometimes I think it's, yeah, there are I should other say, spelling. yeah, but well, it still could have been. L-I-L-L-Y, L-I-L-L-Y, L-I-L-L-I-E, yeah, it's different. Yeah, multiple ways. Okay, wonderful. Now, is your financial institution or institutions, is they close to your residence, ma'am? Is it what? Is your financial institution close to your residence, sweetheart? Oh, well, not really. No. It's uh, nothing's really close to my, my residence. Okay, nothing's very much close to your residence. No, now, no. How, how far would you say your bank is from your home? I could get there in about 20 minutes. Maybe in about 20, 20 minutes. 25 okay. minutes, maybe, yeah. Exactly. Now, that's a, that's a, that was made basically the question I was asking. Now, how close is your bank to your home? You said between 20 to 25 minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, the main purpose for that question, sweetheart, is because our company, our agents, I myself will be on the delivery. That's for certain. Because as I said, I'm doing this on the behalf of you and the respect and the level of communication we had already from this morning, mm -hmm. I'm really, really interested on in meeting you. You're a very mm -hmm. nice, a very sweet, a very charming, a very, <laughs> I should say, happy person. You're someone that I really need to meet. So <laughs> I'm going to make sure I'm on the delivery for you. I am going to ensure that we will be escort. It's a mandatorily drill where we, we make the presentation, we escort our winners to their institution or institutions to ensure that both of their checks are delivered and remitted within the account of their choice, okay? All right, okay. Right. So we will be making the presentation at your home under a confidential in a very private fashion. Not even your neighbors or your neighbor would have any idea about the sweepstakes you will be getting. And then... Just we will um, be all of my farm hands, and that's about it. What, just your farm hands. And I'm positively sure it's going to be done in a way that not even your farm personnel do not recognize it's the sweepstakes you're going to be receiving. Because as I said, hence... We're going to be doing this as confidential, as private as possible to you. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you're going to be very much safe. Now, we will ensure that we escort you to the bank to ensure both of your checks. Now, Mrs. It's very Hannah, strange that, we... that, even, that in this day and age that you have to even uh, deliver it. I would think that you could just... Punch in some numbers on, and I could punch in some numbers on my, like, go on to my online bank and punch in numbers and bam, it all be done. <laughs> I don't know why you can't exactly. do that. Everything is set up like but, that nowadays. Yeah, everything is set up digital, now, my, that's my, right. My my right. nephew, he, he pays everything with his cellular phone. He just, he puts where the, where the card is supposed to go, he just puts his phone. He puts it instead of a exactly. card, he uses his actual phone. <laughs> I seen him do that the first time. I said, "Oh, what? The, what do you think? 
What are you doing? Are you are you are you trying to cheat the system somehow? <laughs> He said no. He said no. This is this is some. I think he said I pay or something like that. He said yeah. He, could, he just he said I have it connected to my my bank card, and then it does the same thing that a bank card does. I said oh my goodness, what are they going to think of next? What are they going to exactly. think of next? Some persons tend to be old-fashioned. Not everyone is interested with the digital world and how it works because it yeah. tends next, to... Next, you'll be you able know, to someone. just talk to your, your phone and it'll be able to answer all the questions you ask it. <laughs> My goodness gracious. <laughs> I don't know what they're but, going to think of next. Exactly. But under a sweepstakes, it, it cannot be done that way. The money has to be directly delivered to you because remember, it's a, it's a, it's a prize award of over... One million to five hundred thousand dollars, and you know the banks. Not every banks are as I should say established or big as other banks that could make a deposit of over a million dollar within a day. And you know when such amount of money goes into the bank or wire transfer or direct deposit, the bank will put a red flag on it. They will have to go through a lot of investigation to ensure where the money had derived from, how the money had derived, to whom it has been sent to, why is it sent to that person, etc. So instead of delaying a simple situation that could be done in one day physically, the company do not tend to go through that method or that material to get a sweepstakes delivered to any recipient now. Okay? All right. So, right. Basically, it has to be done physically. But our physical presentation to you will not attract any unnecessary eyebrows, will not attract any one steering around the bushes, or definitely would not attract a predator to you to prey on you and try to get what you have received. Okay? All right. Most definitely, Sri. As I said, uh, you're safe. Now, is it a case? Do you have... W only one institution that you're intending to put your fund into, or do you have multiple institutions now? I would be with the Texas Credit Union. Okay, the Texas Credit Union. And is that the only institution that you're a member of now? Well, I do have a, a, an account with a Bank of America, but that's a business account. I don't. I have access to. It. You have access to it. Yes, it's. It, but other, it's it's used for uh, like the business and day to day. Things, so more than one oh, okay. person but has access. To. So more than one person it's not, has it's access. It's not in my. The, it's not in my name. It's in the in the business name. Okay, and the, remember, just to confirm, the business. Who runs the business now? You're the owner of the business. Well, I'm the the, the owner. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. You're the owner of your business. It's a, It's so actually a corporation. So I'm the I'm the uh, president. Yeah, oh, okay. I don't understand. But you have other, I should say, shareholders, etc., that are established with the account. Well, other that other board members, yeah, that have interests. Right. So that doesn't mean that if you are interested to use the account for your, for business purposes or for your personal business, you still could access the account if it's necessary, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, wonderful. So what i just like to differentiate is that it's only two banks you're affiliated with. The Bank of America, which is for the business account, and the Texas Credit Union, which is your personal institution. Yes. Okay. So, and as you said, you will be intending to have the checks being deposited within the Texas Credit Union, right? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Now, is that the bank that you said is 20 to 25 minutes away from you? Yes. Yeah, but both oh. of them would be about that. I think there's a, a Bank of America before that. We don't ever go into the to the bank. All right. And normally, I don't when you're anyway. going into the, you don't. All right, not you don't go inside of the Bank of America or any no. of the banks. No, I don't. I, I've gone into my bank before, like oh. quite oh. a while ago. But okay. I do most of my. I, I don't go into the bank. You don't go into the bank. So most of your business that you do with the Bank of America, it's online, right? Well, either do it online or yeah. So yeah. Right. Now, if you, if you go, sometimes I know because you know sometimes we might have an off day or a moody day that sometimes we do not tend to go inside of the bank. But we like to go to the drive-thru. Do you normally use the drive-thru at the banks as well? well? I don't think any of the banks here have drive-thrus. Oh, no, it's not that 
I should say, big franchise. Yeah. They don't no, have it. No. Oh, you just go inside. Okay, that's good to know. Now, with, with the credit union, sweetheart, with that institution, may I confirm, you do have both uh, check-ins and a savings account that you could have both of these checks being deposited into. Yeah, oh? Yes, I do, yeah. Yeah, I have a checking okay. and a savings. All right. That's wonderful, sweetheart. Now, I would like to say that uh, under the Gaming and Gambling Board, the Section 139 Act, normally with a deposit of over 100000 to $500,000, you must have an established institution and account or accounts that you have been representing for more than, I should say, 12 months and have recent activities done within those accounts. But from my, from my knowledge and from my perspective, I know you have both of your institution for more than a decade that you're using now, right? I've never been put, where are you getting this information? I've never been put inside an institution. They tried no, to put me in an institution one time, but they, but they, 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 they yeah, didn't. Hold on, hold on. No, the, the doctor on, said that I was I totally say? fine. That I just, oh, honey, you know, honey, this, honey. This was, I it, say, I, they I said that it was a part of my high blood pressure, that it wasn't, I wasn't hearing voices. Please, I was hearing, hammer. it this was hearing hammer. like a, a, a I'm uh, not, I'm talking kind of about a bank, I'm eardrums. talking about a, sweetheart, I'm talking about a bank, when I say institution, I meant a bank, that's what they call a bank, an institution, oh. that's what they call a bank, I, I was not referring to any, I, I was you not were talking about the time that I, they, they were trying to put me into an institution, no, sweetheart, that's remember, what I said I, to the doctor that I was I was hearing what sounded like voices because I had, I th but it turns out it was high it's high blood pressure and around my eardrums and I just heard was hearing uh just it's it wasn't w uh, voices or anything but they wanted to put me into an institution saying I was uh, uh, crazy or something. Sweetheart, they were trying I to do that for, for for about a month. Honey. I understand what you are saying, but to be honest, I, I was I don't even know about that, your previous over the years. I was not referring to anything about your health, anything about your 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 your, your body, nothing like that. I don't okay. know that that you're just telling me. That that's something right. new that you just told me. I wasn't okay. aware. And All I'm right. very I didn't sorry. Know if I didn't you, know if that's on record or not. I, I don't know what, no. what's on record about me. No, honey, absolutely not. Those are your personal records. Those would not be affiliated with a sweepstakes company, honey. So I wasn't aware about those informations, and I'm definitely sorry if I had you misinterpreted. But as I said, I'm very sorry for that. But when I meant institution, I'm talking about a bank. That's what we call institution in oh. our world. Well, okay. okay. I was, I was so thinking I'm very a, sorry. a mental institution. Absolutely not. So as I said, my apologies. I'm very sorry if I had you misinterpreted, ma'am. And uh, sorry, I will not get back on that page. But I would just say bank from now on. All right? Now, the bank... I know that you have been a member with both of your banks for more than, I should say, a decade now, right? Oh, yes, yeah. Absolutely. More, more, more so like two. <laughs> more like, exactly. Just for example, a decade. So it's more than 10 years. Right. So more, I know more than two you decades. Were, more than two. Oh, my God. That's, that's even much more better. That's more better. Yeah, more yeah, easier. We're, we're probably looking at almost three. Almost. Oh, my God. So yeah. that's wonderful. So that's perfect. So in terms of getting your checks, being well, I've had a bank account, account for for half of a century. <laughs> We're not even talking <laughs> in decades anymore. We're talking in centuries. <laughs> I mean, that is and aging myself quite a bit, but you know, it's it's true. I've had a bank account for more than fifty years. I got my right. first bank well, account that's... when I turned eighteen. My daddy brought me down to the bank. That was with J.P. Morgan and Chase, though. That was J.P. Morgan yeah. Chase. Oh, I'm familiar with that bank. That's an that's an instant, that's a bank that I'm familiar with, and a bank that I'm also a member of, yeah. J.P. Morgan and Chase. Yeah. Very good bank, well structured. Yeah. Now, also at this time, all right. Now, you do you receive a social security, ma'am? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Okay, one. 
Wonderful. And what time of the month do you normally receive a Social Security? Between the middle, the first, or the end of each it's, month? It's around the first. Okay, perfect. Now, also, as I said, sweetheart, I'm the type of person, I'm a gentleman. I'm a, I'm a businessman, and I am also a catering person. Now, I know at this moment that you, you must You work in have catering? I'm sorry? You said you're a catering person? I am a very catering person. Oh, you, you ca- oh, you work in catering, too. No, not <laughs> you have saying a lot of, in You cater- have a lot of hats. <laughs> not saying in the catering field, but I'm a very mean and I'm a caring person. Oh, I provide oh no, okay. I thought you meant you, you, you bring people sandwiches as well. No, no. No, not like that. I'm a catering person. I, I bring comfort and care to each and every one. That's my oh, job. okay. <laughs> right. So I know with the type of lady you are, a business affiliate, I will just inform you. At this time, ma'am, you still do your investments, right? Yes, yeah. Exactly. So I was just going to improvise you that if you're not a member within the investment field or in the investing field, I think you should take a fraction or a percentage of this amount that you were selected for to be diverse or invested within stocks, bonds, CDs, IRAs, mutual funding, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, etc. Something you can invest in within your comfort, your own personal perspective to ensure that on an annual, on a yearly basis, you would have a much better financial income, a greater financial stability, and also a way better line of credit, credibility, and credentials within your own right. And you're familiar with all of those information, right? Yes, yeah. Exactly. Now, for example, you don't have to inform me a lot, but what sort of investments do you, are you affiliated with now? Do you do like cryptocurrency, the more recent type? No, no, the only investments we made were into like some John Deere tractors and and stuff like that, and new parcels of land so that we can try to uh, plant more feed. Right. Right, yeah, so right. it's mostly you, uh, real estate and, and uh, assets. And assets. Okay, wonderful. Now, sweetheart, as I said, it's such a pleasure. As I said, I am your agent. You can call me Don. You can call me Donald. You can call me a wrestler. You can call me whatever you're more preferable with. Because as I said, honey, this is the start of a relationship with me and you. <laughs> not right. saying very... not. Saying I'd say intimate, honey, because remember, you're, <laughs> yeah, but something close, something very, very comforting, something to always keep you smiling and happy how you are now, okay? Yeah. So, I'm someone you can trust. I can, I can confirm you. Yes. Yeah, well, I certainly am, uh, I've got lots of plans for, uh... Can he keep it down over there? That a baby? Can he, can he, can he tell to shut up? Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Is that a Kids. baby? Whose baby is that? That's not mine. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> I, I never oh. had any babies. I don't want a baby. I never, I don't even want this baby, this baby here right now, actually. <laughs> can you take it into the other room, there? Yeah? yeah, I'm on the phone. Okay, right. now... Yeah, so as I was saying, sweetheart, I'm someone that you could, I'm someone that's always going to have you smiling, this happy, this comfortable, and also this, you know, feeling a bit different, because I know that you never went to your bed last night, waking up this morning, knowing that this simply phone call or this one phone call could actually change your entire life and have you feeling this happy, this joyful, a bit different this morning, right? Yes, uh, I was not expecting this this morning, that's for sure. Absolutely. And and that's what we, all right, that's what we know. We as Christians, that's what we know, and that's what we hear every day. God works in mysterious ways, and this is one of the most mysterious ways that you'd ever indulge in, knowing that you're a winner of a sweepstakes, you have indulged with another Christian representative like yourself, probably someone that is, I must say, charming, Sounds very good, very, very, I should say, uh, professional as myself. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. So I'm someone you 
definitely will be very much grateful, happy, comfortable, and interested in them. And as I said, I have nothing but love, but honesty, and but protection to provide to you. Okay? All right. Okay. All right, honey. So what I'm going to do now, sweetheart, because we have been conversating over an hour and a half now. Oh, to be, my to goodness. Be, to be right. And it, 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 it just feels like it's only the starting of the conversation because we're both comfortable with each other. It seems like we don't want to get off the phone. Yes, I know. It's right. A... Exactly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some information of the first we have referred to the test of registration because we are both aware that your state of Texas do not pay state taxes, right? All right, yeah. Yeah, right. So right now, your state of Texas is currently validating the tax report and the registration sheet with the Department of Treasury and with the IRS right now so they could provide it to us and we could have it referred to you to yeah. know what the taxes are, what the payments are, and what the registrations are to get you safely registered to have your price delivered to you. All right. Okay? All right. Yeah. Right. So now we are currently looking on tax payments. First and foremost, honey, there's yeah. not going to be a deduction out of your amount. No okay. deductions will be coming out of the three and a half million dollars. Oh. Okay. What will be? Right. What will be happening, ma'am, is that we, as the company and yourself, we will only be required to have a physical payment done up front. So you, in the state of Texas, can receive the legal and the spending rights to claim your prize, and you can be given the green light to receive this award without any penalties facing by the government or by your state of Texas, honey. Okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. All right. So now... I'm sure they like that everything's are... bigger in Texas, so they would like definitely like to take a lot more, I'm sure. <laughs> even Everything's bigger yeah. in Texas, even the taxes. Right, exactly, even the taxes, and that's what we're aware of. But bear in mind, sweetheart, that the taxes, if not 90% of the taxes are currently being paid by our company for you right now, to be honest. So I'm giving you a little heads up of what's going on. Because the taxes that are there, the taxes were calculated up to a value of over $750,000. The company, the company is not very much aware, honey, if you would be able to take care of so much money on your own. So right now, our company is paying more than 50 to 80% of all those taxes for you to get your prize in the position to take it off hold, to put it back in a position to be prepared and to be delivered to you ASOP, okay? Okay. Right, ma'am. So you, to be honest, sweetheart, you would be mandatorily required and physically required to have a tax or a payment done prior to your delivery and your presentation. But honestly speaking, I'm not fully here. So I cannot provide yeah. that to you now. Yeah. I would um, have yeah. to be able to get more information from them. So okay. we can provide it to you. All right. Right. Now, what I need you to do, because I'm going to send here. the delivery. I'm sorry? Uh, sorry, somebody just, yeah, no, never mind. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, honey. Now, what I need you to do is I need you to provide me with your street address, sweetheart. Oh, my street address? is It's, uh, yes. seven, it's 721 Spur 316. Spur, as in S-P-U-R? Yes, yeah. Spur tree. 316, Pottsboro, Texas. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I have 721 Spur. What comes after Spur? 316. Okay. And the city? Pottsboro, Texas. P-O-T-T-S-B-O-R-O. -O. Okay. All right. 75076. 75076. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Here's what I'm going to do now, sweetheart. That is 721-SPUR-316, Pottsboro, Texas, 75076. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sweetheart. So here's what's going to happen now. Let me remind you that what is very, very important. This conversation that we're having and that we're continuously having until you receive this prize. This conversation, my dear, my honey, it should be only kept between yourself and I from the company right. until you had received your prize. Now, remember, your prize is currently on confidential status. So no one, not even who works for you, as a matter of fact, who works for you is not very important because they work for you. They do not have any information or any awareness about your prize. No one within your area, no one within your vicinity now. Your prize is only between yourself right now and I from the company. So you are not going to inform you're not going to advertise. You're not going to tell anyone about your business, Mrs. Hammer, sweetheart. Oh, I, I've now, already told about five people. You have already told about five people? Yes, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, you do not do any more elaborating. You do not involve anyone because, remember, you have to be protected. You have to be safe. And we do not want for you to become a target to anyone knowing that you're going to receive this large payout from our company, ma'am. You cannot just go around, tell everyone about your business. You never know who you can trust, and you never know who would try to backstab you, honey. Okay? All right. This is a very, very delicate and a highly classified official presentation that would be carried out to you. That's why you were given your prize package number. You remember that PPN number I gave you early on? The LH757303US? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That information, honey, you are going to keep that information. Remember, as I said, you should never give that to anyone. You should yeah. never say it over the line. If yeah. anyone calls you, if it's not me, Mr. Donald, if it's not me, Mr. Wrestler, if anyone calls you and claiming that they are with the publisher's clearinghouse, what should you do? What's that? I should, I should uh, tell them the uh, PPN, num P, yeah, PPN no, number? No, no. You're not going to tell them. You're going to ask for it. Oh, yes, yeah. I'll ask them. Both. Yes, you should. Yes. So, for example, if someone should call and said, my name is James, I'm from PCH, what should you do? I say my PPN is LH75733US. No, no, sweetheart, no, no, you should never say it. You should ask them for it. You should ask, what's my PPN or what's my prize number? Oh. What's my package number? That's okay. what you should ask. You should ask that person, okay. what's my package number? All right. If they cannot provided to you, then you just hang up. For example, again, my name is John. I'm from PCH. What should you do? You're from PCH? Yeah, no, if someone should call you saying that they're John, my name is Mark, my name is John, I'm from Publishers Clearinghouse, yeah. I'm calling about your prize. What should you do before you speak to that person? You give them the PPN number. No, you don't give no, them. Ask you them ask for it. For... Ask them for it. Right. You ask them for the PPN number. Yeah. That's a private number. That's like a code. It's a code. You do not give your code out. You ask for your code. Okay. So if, you're, if your code is not been given to you within 5 to 10 seconds, honey, what should you do? You should uh, give it to them? No, you hang up. Hang up? You, yeah, you hang up. Because if a person do not know your code, only person from our legitimate company knows your code or has your code information in our system. Oh, okay, all right. So if, okay. So if you I ask understand. for the code... I understand. Exactly. So if you ask for the code now and it's not been given to you, what should you do? I should call you to make sure I have the right... Right, exactly. Or you just hang up. If the person cannot provide the code in 5 to 10 seconds, you just hang up. Okay. It's not a person from Publishers Clearinghouse. Probably it's a telemarketer. 
probably it's a solicitor, but it's not somebody from our company. So okay. if I should call you again and I said, hey, honey, good afternoon, it's, 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 it's Donald, what should you do? I say hello. Right. And I said, it's Donald. I'm calling back from Publishers Clearinghouse. It's Donald. How are you doing? What should you do after? I'm, I'm doing good. How are you? Right. And then what you should ask me for. You should, always, you should always ensure you're asking for the PPN number. If it's you said it was you. To, yes, but sometimes persons could contact pretending that they're someone, sweetheart. That's the thing. That's why you are given a code. Because what if someone pretends well, that I know your me, voice. Donald? You're like my son now. <laughs> well, that's very sweet. But what if someone tried to modulate me? You have to be careful. That's how the world is now. Sweetheart, I'm younger than you. I'm more advanced in, I should say, technology within the society, within this new world. And as I told you, it's way, way more dreadful than how it was back in your time. Now, yes, yeah. now even, even the leaf could turn on you. So you right. have to be very, very careful on who you let in, who you, you, you talk to, and who you, you, you might give your trust to, sweetheart. Right. So as you can see, as my mom, I'm just trying to protect you as well. I don't want for you to be vulnerable. I don't want for you to be taken for granted. And I definitely don't want for you to become a target mom. So honey, I'm asking you, you just work with the information that I'm giving to you. And I'm positively sure and I can assure you that you will be happy, protected, and safe at the end of the day. Okay? Oh, all right. All right, honey. All right. Now, is there any plans for this afternoon? Do you have anything you have to do for today? Uh, uh, not really, no. There's a couple. Well, I do need to. There's a couple things I do need to do, yeah. Wonderful. Now... What we're going to do at this point, I'm going to get with the Department of Treasury. We're going to, with the IRS, and see if we could get some of the tax information for today so I can give you a briefing of what's going on, and hopefully we could get something done for today. Now, let me ask you a question. If we, if you should do, you are familiar with doing wire transfers, right? Yes, yeah, I do wire transfers. Uh, I, I take wire transfers and give wire transfers to different uh, suppliers. and uh, exactly. different. Uh, and, yeah. Right. And when you're doing wire transfers, do you have to go to your bank to get that done? No, no, goodness. We can do it right from the computer, the work, the business computer. All right. You can do it from your work, from your home, from within your office, right? Yes, yeah. Sometimes it's sometimes they send like eighty ninety thousand dollars through wire transfer. Oh, so you have you ever wired ninety thousand or eighty thousand before? Yes, yeah. Okay, and how it's long for the it business? Of, uh, uh, you know, right. to, to and other businesses. Exactly, and how long? How long does it normally take for? a wire transfer for your business to, say for example, you do a wire transfer this morning, say about 10 o'clock for $80,000 to another account. How long do you think it would be ready or would it take for it to be ready within the other account? Like an oh, hour, I, half an hour? I, I'm not sure. I don't, I, I always thought that they, it takes until the next day to get there. I, I don't know. Why oh, yeah, probably because, if it's yeah, a probably different because bank, of, if it's yeah, the no. same bank, it's probably uh, uh, a lot quicker, maybe. Right. I think, right. that, yeah. I, I don't I, know how it works anymore. When was the last time you do a wire transfer? Well, I know it's done th through the, uh, that account fairly often, yeah. um, like once every when week we, or so. But, not that amount. Yeah, but, what was, yeah, I'm asking you, when was the last time you did it, like, at your home, physically? Oh, uh, you go on a couple of months ago, I did it. Oh, oh sorry. No problem. Uh, and it's the same thing that you do when you're doing a direct deposit? Yes, yeah. You just go on your computer, you go into your account, you, you select the amount you want to direct deposit. Yeah, you, you need to put a, you need to put a name, address, an account number, and a routing number, and, and yeah, the amount. And, yeah. and you just do it. And then, right. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully, when getting your payments done, ma'am, we're just going to have it set up that way. Hopefully, it can be done that way for you, which could be more easier, less hassling, less back and forth, 
unless, you know, well, that's, that's what I was saying earlier. I said, I don't know why you guys can't do it like that. Just do it through the, okay. do a punch in a All couple right, of numbers, because I know that that's how yes, uh, most everybody does it. Yeah, I know, but with a sweepstakes, it's a bit different, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to organize, I'm going to arrange that for you. So hopefully... We could, but there still has to be a presentation. Our company will have to come over with those cardboard cashier's check too because those pictures, you have to get a copy of that picture. It's for, for memories, yes. for souvenirs. Oh, yes, yeah. I definitely want and to have company, that hanging in my, in my living room <laughs> on one of absolutely. my mantles. And the company will be getting one to put in our winner's portfolio as well. So... That would be arranged. So both of your is is both of your banks attached to your online banking? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Okay, all right. And do you have do you use like credit cards? No, I, well, there's a there is a, a business credit card. I don't use it though. I don't use it. I never oh. use it. That that's for, for that's for uh, if they need to go and buy some tools or something or, or something. So I I never use that. But it's on the account. Right. And you do you have a personal a credit card of your own? Personal? No, no, I don't personally use oh. them. Oh. All right, that's good to know. That's very good, sweetheart. So as I said, honey, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that I, I have your email sent to the processing department first so they can have the letters sent to you by email. I'm going to get the tax form from the IRS, and we're going to have you do a payment or a process today so we could start the procedure of getting your prize off the hold or off the red light situation and to place it in a position to be prepared and delivered to you. So we have like one, two, three, four, four business days to five business days remaining to finalize your process, to finalize your paperwork, and to finalize your payment so we could get you safely, legally registered in the state of Texas so you won't have any problems, any complications, any inconvenience with the government or with your state to receive your wonderful award. Okay? All right. All right. So for now, let me just get that done for you, sweetheart. On the other hand, I need you to do what you got to do. And remember again, Mrs. Hamma, it's very, very important, Mom. I will be start calling you Mom until we get everything done. I, do you feel comfortable with I calling you Mom? <laughs> if, you, if you want to, that's fine. Yeah, but I want to make sure that you are comfortable with it. It's not oh, only yes. about me, sweetheart. Oh, yes, yeah. People okay. down at the all community right, so center call me Mom all the time. Okay, so, yeah. All right, Mom. So what I'm going to do now, Mom, I'm going to make sure that I get those informations being ready, prepared for today. So, for example, within the next two hours, if the IRS, you know, report to us and inform us that Mrs. Hammer needs to get a payment done today to start the process, so the price could be lifted from hold, the red bar could be lifted on the price, and we could start getting the details for, for your delivery. So, for example, if I inform you today that the IRS says Mrs. Hama, you need to have a payment done for $1,000 to get your price off the hold from the red light situation and to be on the presentable date so you could be delivered to you. Can you be able or would you be able to have that done today without any complications? Well, I no, like do it if I could send it uh, by a... Yeah, if you could... A wire transfer, yeah, do it. All right, no problem. All right, so if, if you should do it by the wire transfer, it has, it has to be done from any one of your, it could be done from any one of your banks, right? Yes, yeah. All right, no problem. Because I'm assuming that since, because remember, your checks will be coming from the Bank of America. So right. our company is already... to go to my credit union. Yeah, I know, I know. Not saying the price, not saying your price... We'll yeah. be going to the credit union, sweetheart. But I'm saying, we as the company 
we have Bank of America accounts. Yes, so if yeah. you should do a wire but transfer, I would still have to. Tra- I would still have to uh, pay anything through the credit union because that's my personal fund. Can't use the business. Yeah, funds. I, yeah, I. Oh, oh, oh! You can't use well, the business phone. No, no, I get, I get uh, uh, charged with embezzlement for that <laughs> because it's a corporate funds. A corporate. Oh right, right. You cannot use the business account. You'd have to no. use a credit union one, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, no problem. So, sweetheart, as I said, honey, for now, listen. When I get off the phone with you, you just put up the phone. You don't need to speak to anyone else if it's not about your business and if it's not about your personal behalf. So no one else will be able to talk to you about the price. I am the only one. So if anyone else tries to call you, you ask for the PPN. If you cannot be provided, you hang up. I am your only agent, right? And you remember my name, Mr. Wrestler. You can call me Donnie. You can call me Don. You can call me Donald. Don Juan. You can call me Rest. Sorry. Don Juan. <laughs> you are Don Juan. That sounds very <laughs> What? Whoa, you're creative. That's very creative. Well, thank you. I will work with that. Don Juan. That sounds, that sounds like uh, I'm a bit uh, immortal. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't we wish? So for now, we all wish. We are. We all wish. Sometimes we are, but within nature, though. Yeah. So all right now, honey. So as I said, you do what you have to do. I'm gonna make sure I play my part here. As soon as we get the email sent to you, I'm gonna call you, and we're gonna go through the email together, and hopefully we could start making preparations from there. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, can you right, can you say now, one thing for me before we get off the phone? Just say one thing. I like to know how people say no, this. It's a, uh, say the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lady dog. The lazy dog. Okay. The, the lady. Is it duck the, or dog? Dog. Lazy dog. The quick brown the fox dog. jumps oh. over the lazy dog. Okay. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yes, okay. Yeah, I just like to hear okay. how people, there, there's a lot of different uh, 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 ways people pronounce things uh, from different parts of uh, well, the world uh, or, the, or the country. Or, so. What's your origin? What's my origin? Well, I'm, yes. I'm from uh, New Jersey. Well, I'm, I, gr- I grew up my, uh, my younger years in uh, New Jersey. Uh, and then I did travel abroad over to, to Europe for for a number of years and then i came back and i lived in uh, pennsylvania for a little bit and then uh, uh, we moved to uh, texas so i've been, okay, been in texas for uh, for uh, probably uh, 20 years okay and uh, to ask uh, what uh, is your 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 parents are they from europe uh, yes my father was uh, from uh, was from Hungary. From my, Hungary. My mother oh my. was from uh, New Jersey. From New. Okay, I understand because yeah, he, you have a bit of an accent which sounds very beautiful, and <laughs> oh, yeah, the Hungarian. Yeah, the Hungarian. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's one of my. I most. I should say, beautiful experience I have visiting a country. Ah oh, yes. Hungary. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I think. Think I went to somewhere. Uh, it's it's been a wild thing. I think. One point I went to a uh, few parts within down down within the deep European uh, natives. I think I was also within Budapest. I oh, think okay. at one yeah, point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Hungary is a uh, to me is a very historical country because uh, soccer is something I'm very much a uh, big fan of. Okay. And from soccer, from watching soccer, Hungary has already been, uh, all, always been one of those proud, excited, love for football nation from way back within the 50s, but unfortunately wasn't lucky enough to, you know, won one of those World Cups. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I, I, I really admire the culture, the people, the lifestyle there is very... I should say, overwhelming. They're, you guys are very nice people. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, I have to say. So, yeah, so as I said, honey, we're going to do more of this a bit 
more this afternoon, but what I have to do is make sure that I get these informations over and we're going to have your notification. That's the letters you should have received. We're going to have them sent to you via email. And as soon as they're sent today, honey, as soon as they're sent, I will call you back and both of us will go through it together. Okay? All right. Okay. All right. okay. I'm going to go for a little but, walk right now. So I need no, to... <laughs> no problem. No problem. So you take your walk. You I want to get some to clarity do. of mind because I want to uh, kind of plot out everything that I'm going to do. I got so much, so many things that I want to get done. Yeah. Right. Uh, this money understand. is going to be a, a big help for, for so many things. Absolutely. I understand. So you do that, and as I said, you keep yourself to yourself. You keep your business to yourself. You just go ahead, take a walk, you know, venture your mind. Look at the aspirations, things you can do. You do that within your own personal perspective because I don't want for you to get to, I should say, flabbergasted without receiving your prize. Yes. So I don't want for you to go about, yes. So you do what you do within yourself, your own nature, and you just wait until I call you back within the next two hours, okay? All right, okay. All right. Thank you very much. It's been a wonderful time. God bless you. Be safe. Congratulations again. <laughs> okay. God bless. Bye now. Bye-bye. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> oh, sorry. Hello? Hello? <coughs> Hi. Good afternoon. <coughs> um, how are you? Oh, oh yes. Oh. <coughs> Yeah, Mom, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. And my PPN okay. is LH757303US. Yes. Right, right. But remember, as I told you, honey, you should let me provide it to you, Mom. What? I'm saying, remember, as I told you, Mom, you should you should oh. let me. You should oh. let me provide it to you. No. Oh. Okay. Right? Either, you should either always or. let me. Either way. Yeah. All right, and you you got my you got the email? Yes, I did. Yeah. And you respond to the email, right? Yeah. Okay, and, and you perfect. responded back. Uh, right, right. I responded back. So yeah. that's another that's another means or another way of communication. Both you and I could talk together. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, all right. Now. Are you busy at this time? Were you mm. on the farm or were you just running some well, errands no, I, or was, so? I was just in the uh, down in the in the cellar. Oh. Okay, now your house Okay, that's good. Now your household is it like uh one storage or two storage? What? Your house, your house, is it like an upstairs and downstairs? Is it one or yeah. two storage? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're downstairs now? Yes, yeah. Okay. All right, because I think probably when you're upstairs, it would be less intervened by, like, the, the animals on the farm, I assume. Mm, yeah. Right. Now, did you got a chance? Did you open the notification? Uh, yes, I did. I, I looked through uh, some of it, and I seen, yeah, it was uh, had some kind All of right, certificate so you and a bunch of different things. Right. And you, you, did you read most of it, or did you just take a glance on it? I kind of just took a glance on it. And... All right. Now, are you where the computer is now? No, that's downstairs. It's downstairs. Okay. Because I wanted me and you to go through the documents so you could actually get a more understanding or briefing of the requirements and the necessities that will be needed to go forward successfully, okay? Okay, all right. Right. Now, downstairs, is downstairs, does does other people or companies downstairs? Uh, no, no, it's just a cellar, and there's a, uh, a bear cage down there, and the, the computer is down there, and there used to be a web cage on the bear, on, or a webcam on the bear cage when my husband was alive. Right, okay. There's no bear uh, in there I anymore, wanted... though, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't keep a bear in there. <laughs> yeah. But there is a barricade. Yeah, I know. I know that, Mom. You would not keep a beer in there at this time. Mm -hmm. no, and no. worst case, worst case, your husband is not here anymore to help you. So yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that would not be necessary. But, uh, yeah. well, to be honest, honey, as I said from morning, it has been a very beautiful day. Things are looking bright and mellow from early this morning. Yeah. Even with your documents, with your paperwork, and with the information that we have here, we've also got confirmation. Hmm? Hello? 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 I can't hear anything. Hello? 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 Yes? Yeah, we got cut off. What happened? Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, seems like the line dropped or we just got disconnected. Well, I don't know what happened. I just, I couldn't hear anything anymore. Yeah, that was my stuff. I couldn't hear you as well. Could, so. could you hear Good me saying hello, my... hello? Well, I didn't hear you saying hello because I was busy saying hello, hello myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, good. Now, as I was asking you, what's the time you have now, honey? Uh, the, uh, the time is uh, it's 2 o'clock. Okay, it's 2 o'clock. And what time does your bank, what time does they close on a regular day? Oh, I don't know. I don't, You're I not don't. familiar, so... I'm not, no. I have no idea. I don't, I don't right. as I said, I don't go, go in to the bank. N normally, okay. All right, no problem. I understand because most of your business or most of what you do, you just have it done online. Yes, yeah. All right, I understand. More, more business time. Okay. Now, what I was asking you, if you could have uh, probably get to where the computer is, is because there is some specific information on the notica notifications that were sent to you that I wanted to go through with you together okay but okay if it's going to be if it's going it's not going to be a problem for you to get downstairs to where it is right well i can't be on the phone when i do it i oh, can't be on the... so there's not a phone there's not a phone down there that you use no no all right i understand so i will just there used to there used the... to be one down there when when my husband uh, was alive he because he he did more things down in in the cellar so he uh uh, but uh, after he died, some uh, I don't know, a bunch of things got taken out of the, out of there, and that was, the phone was one of them because. I see, I see. I understand, Mom. Well, that's okay. You don't have to worry about that. What I'll do, I'll just read it over and go through it on the computer with you, so you could understand. All right. I mean, I could I could go and uh, print it out. There's a printer there. You I can could print, print it. I could print it oh, out and I could bring it back up to the phone. I could do that if you right, want to give right. me about 10 minutes. No problem, honey. I will let you do that. You can go out, print out all the paperwork, and when you're back up, I'll just call you back within 10 or 15 minutes. All right. Okay. I could do that. That's easy. All right. Do that. All right. Take your time. I'll call you back. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Yes. Hello? Okay. Hello? Yes. It's, it's Don Juan. Yeah, um, yes. uh, you're finished? Uh, yes, yeah, I have it all here. Uh, okay. Kind of correlated. Good to know. Okay, all right. Now, firstly, did you see the exact, the first page? Because I want it to be labeled in, like, the, the sequence it is. I'm going to open it here, and, yeah. All right, the first page page you should see at the top the mega millions underneath publishers clearing house yes yeah right and along that you'd see the date today's date and my name mr donald rester and the company a yeah. picture of a lady who is a winner yes, and yeah. also the address 101 winner circle jericho new york 11753 yeah. this scammer insisted on reading every word of the documents that he sent me so we're going to speed up some of these parts because it gets pretty boring. Now, earlier when I informed you that you were required, as it stated in the document, that you were only required to have the minimal registration done for 1%. And that 1% is a value of $35,500 that will be initially I'm required. Gonna, I'm going to win that too? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, actually, ma'am, the 1%, that's the 1%. Remember, as I informed you, your 99% of taxes 
have already been taken care of by our company. Okay? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So you are only required to have the minimal of 1%. You are required to have one percentage of taxes being paid and being registered oh, well, under I'm good, your name. I'm good for it, yeah, I'm good for it. Right, right, exactly. So that's your only requirement. Yeah. So remember, as I repeat for you in the documents. It's tax time now. I'm, I'm, I have to be, I still have to do my taxes. Right, right. So, so what I just you're going to be doing. In, in on it. Well, this would have been from, I'm from last year. So this, this will be uh, next year that I'll have to do the taxes for this. Well, it's not exactly an annual tax registration. It's mainly for your delivery and for the insurance of your prize within the state of Texas, honey. Now, remember, your state of Texas is a very unique, a very identical, and a very, very legislated state. Your state implies that whenever there is a large sum of over $500,000 that will be delivered or transferred to the state of Texas, there would be taxes, there would be payments, and there would be processes that would be required to have that money being delivered in your state, right? What? Not, not beforehand. So like, say, you pay that all in tax. Now. Yeah, well, definitely. Most definitely. But yeah, all your tax state, time. remember, remember, your state does not pay any state taxes. So within a sweepstakes, the sweepstakes company, the government will charge a percentage and they will charge a fee to have that legal recipient within that state of Texas to be legally registered so they could receive that state. Yeah, I'll have because my accountant when, deal yeah. with all of that. I'll have my accountant deal with right. all of that. They can, right, right, they can set up all of the that thing stuff. Is, I don't understand all of those tax codes and everything. It's and it's even worse for a, a corporation. But uh, so I, I just have a, uh, an accountant that deals with all of that, and he he yeah, files know, it. But I, I, does, I, he does all of the Mom, any of the credits. Yeah, I know. Mom, he needs to I do. know I you. Know how he does it? I know you have. I know you have them, Mom. And that's what I'm telling you that when you get this prize, Mom, there's not going to be no taxes that's going to be delivered. The only payment that is required for you in terms of payment are physical payments prior to your delivery because you are required to have an insurance payment and also your delivery payment done to get your price delivered out to you. Those payments are only 1%, one single percent that you are required to have paid to get your delivery and to get your price insured and presented to you. The taxes on your check and on your prize, those taxes will not be deducted out of the money that will be delivered to you. So there's not, there's not going to be any tax deductions or any money taken out of your three and a half million dollars. Okay. So okay. What I'm no, I, under, I understand. Yeah. I understand. I, I, yeah, I, exactly. I get it. Yeah. So what I'm so I so just I just I just get my I just get my accountant to deal with it at the end of the year. Right. Right, yeah. right. End of the year after you receive the prize. Yeah. So now yeah, so now prior to you, Mom, receiving this prize, there is remember, your prize is on hold. Your checks are currently within the Bank of America to be made out and delivered to you. So your prize needs to be lifted from the hole that it is in right now and to be presented to you ASAP. So now there is a 1% insurance and delivery payment that you are required to be paying prior to your delivery. So you will be required to make this payment so we could have it in the system and we can get the delivery day, the delivery time, and provide it to you and know what exact day we will be making this delivery to you, Mom. Okay? All right. Okay. All right. Okay, Mom. So remember, as I said now, this presentation needs to be done before the deadline, which is next Tuesday. Now, in terms of getting that done, we are required to pay the delivery fee and the insurance fee. That's the FTC, the insurance and the FDIC 
Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation to protect your prize and to protect your delivery while it's out for transit in your state of Texas. So you, mom, to be honest and frankly speaking, mom, you will be required to have a one percentage payment done to have that registration in the system so your name can be affiliated with the approval, the seals, and with you receiving your prize, okay? Hello? Huh, yes, hello. What's, go uh, what's, what's going on, Mrs. Hammer? Oh, hello, yes. What were you saying? What's going on? I'm I'm talking to you and it seems as if you're ignoring me, ma'am. I'm not, no, sorry. Because each time I'm trying to explain something important to you, it's like you, you, you put the phone somewhere else. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't put the phone anywhere. All right, now what I'm saying, ma'am, is that we need to get a payment done for this afternoon. We need to get a registration done. We need to get a payment done so we can get your delivery to you by early tomorrow morning or within the afternoon, okay? Okay, do I send a payment to the publisher's clearinghouse? No, you're not going to make a payment directly to the publisher's clearinghouse, ma'am. Mom, and if, you know, you're going to make a payment directly to the merchant banker for the institution that will be registering your transfer. So the company would be providing you with the legal merchant banker. You will be given the account information, the routing information, etc. And you will simply have a wire transfer done this afternoon to get that payment in the system. Once you have that registration in the system and it has been processed, then we will be given a delivery day, a delivery okay, well, time. Well, let's get it done. To get, to get your prize over to you, ma'am. Okay? You said it's how much? Right. Now, 35, the process that you're going to... 35000 you said? It's $35,000, ma'am. And it's 100% yeah. reimbursable. Yeah. Yeah, I have that in my account. I can transfer that. Okay, but the thing is, you're not going to do all of that registration at once. What I'm seeing here, you're only required to do a $9,500 payment for today. To start the process... So the delivery could be scheduled. Once it has been scheduled, then the finalization of that payment would be done for the delivery day or for the delivery process. So you're not going to do all that $35,000 at once. You're only going to have the minimal amount of $9,500 $9, being processed okay. this afternoon. Right. Right. So right. we can have it assigned and go forward to the delivery, ma'am. Okay, yeah. All right. Now, so do you think you can be able to have that wire process done today? I could do it, uh, yeah, I could do it today. All right, so you can be able, you I, can be able to do to it go right downstairs. now, right? Yeah, I just need the information right. so I can go downstairs and do it. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have an uh, email sent to our accounts department. I'm going to have them source the information to us, and I'm going to have it provided to you right away, okay? You just email it to me. That would be much easier. I can well, just go downstairs and wait when you email the information to uh, me, and then I'll, I'll send it off. All right, all right, no problem. So I'm going to do that, but before, just let me just get the information firstly and have it referred to you. So let me call you back within like five to, give me like three to five minutes, and let me call you back, Mom. Okay, all right. Uh, all right, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Right. Hello? Yes, hello? Yes, it's, it's, it's Don. Did yes. you receive the email? Uh, I don't know. I was waiting for you to call me. All right, it was sent, so I want you to go and check to see if you see it. And what did basically you basically want? The name, the account number, and the routing number, right? Yes, and an address. Right, and the address. We had the address, too. Okay. So we had it sent to I want you to let me know if you see it. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just go down and do it, and I'll call you when it's done. All right, yeah, go ahead and do it. And remember, it's 9500 And if you, like, when you do it, do you get, like, a copy or a form or a receipt or something to show that it has been done? I just think it says that it's confirmed. Uh, maybe it gives it's a confirmation a... number or something. I don't know. Okay, all right. If you get that, something like that, 
can you have it emailed as well? Because we just want to have it in the system as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, go ahead, do it, and then you call me back. That probably will take you about the next 20 minutes or so, right? Or something like that, yeah. Okay, all right, do it, and then let me know, Mom, I'm here. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, you, you know how to call me back, right? Yes, yeah. All right, so you do that, and I'll just give you between 20, 25 minutes, and then call you back at this time. Okay, all right. All right, talk right. to you then, bye. Bye now. Hello. 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 Yeah, it's Don. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine. I've been trying to call you a couple of times, but I couldn't get a hold of you. Yes, yeah. I was, uh, I was downstairs. Were you out? No, I was downstairs. I was trying oh. to... Yeah. All right. Had, so did you? You got a little me? problem with some of the uh, some of the animals here. And, uh, oh, so you had to pay a little bit of attention to them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see. And uh, did you got the email that I sent you with the information? I did. And did you get my email? I sent you back with the confirmation code. All right. I saw something showing uh yeah something like a confirmation code, but I wasn't successful on let me see if i could be able to have it open all right but you did you got through with the process yes yeah okay and the wire transfer went through i believe so yeah yeah as i said i don't think there's anything you you have to do all right i don't think because it's basically have to be done from your end yeah yeah right right all right, but I'm seeing I'm seeing the link for the credit union from Texas, but I'm not exactly seeing. All right, it says please see the confirmation code post here. It said I I think that was you. I don't think you have to click anything to make it go through. Read it just to make sure, Mom. Right. So I'm trying to open it to get the code, but. When you had it done, it, it shows you that it was successful. It confirmed that it went through. It says that, yeah. Okay. And how much did you had it done for? Uh, well, just 9500 9500 All right. Here's what I'm going to do, sweetheart. I'm going to make a check with the accounts department to see if they could confirm that process because you send the link to confirm as I informed you, thanks for that. But I'm not seeing any, like, you know, confirmation showing that it was. So I'm going to make a check with the accounts department to see if they could confirm the process. And okay. as soon as I got the confirmation, I will call you back right away, okay? All right. All right. So just give me a little time. Let me call you back. Yes, All okay. Right. Thank All you, right. Mom. Bye-bye. All right. Bye now. Yes, hello. 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 Yeah, Mom. Hey it's Don. Don Juan? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Don Juan? Yeah, it's Don Juan, honey. Uh, Can yes. you hear me? Yes. The number is LH757303US. Right, right. That's correct, Mom. All right. Now, what I'd like to confirm, because I make a check with the accounts department, but they're saying that they haven't seen that process as yet. No, oh, okay. Okay. Right. They say they haven't seen it as yet. So I'm trying to differentiate if you did have it done or did you make an attempt to have it done and didn't went through. Well, I d it's, it's gone through. I, I mean, the, it, I, that's see, what it, I seen the money out of the account. And when, when you made the wire transfer, did you check the account to see if the money went out? Uh, yeah, well, yes. Yeah, I checked, I checked the account. You checked the account. So... What would you what what was like the amount you have in the account first before you did the ninety five hundred to make sure? What's what? I'm saying what was like the amount the figures you had in the account to confirm that the ninety five hundred dollars was 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 processed. Do you know the amount you have remaining now within the your 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 account? Oh yeah, there's there's like forty three thousand left in, in the savings. And how much did you had there first? Oh, there was like it was like fifty two. It was over fifty thousand. It was over fifty. And after you did this process, forty three remaining. Yes. Okay. Now, when you did the process, did it shows you? Did it gave you a time, or did it give you any specific time in which the process would be available to the next party? Yeah. Uh, no. No. It did not. Uh, no, it didn't give any time or anything, not that I've seen. So what confirmation did it provide it to you? What did it say? Just what I sent you. And that's exactly, you You send it as how it's, uh, it came through from your computer? Yes, yeah. It, it says 
hello, it says, hello, please see, see the confirmation code posted here. Please see the confirmation code posted here at HTTPS. And when you, you just hashtag. click on it, it doesn't it doesn't bring you to the confirmation code? No, it doesn't bring you. It brings you, I think, directly just to the, the, the bank and then and, 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 and it's, it, it, it's options or something like that. So... And underneath it, it says, I don't think you have to click anything to make it go through. Read it just to make sure. Who sent that? I sent it. You wrote? I wrote that, Oh, you, you, and underneath I saw mom. Yeah, I wrote that. All right, so you wrote the the part that says, hello, please see the confirmation code. Yes, yeah. Okay, so you wrote it that, so that wasn't initially what the bank sent to you. No, no, no. No, I just copied uh, the uh, the link to the uh, to the confirmation and put it in the okay. email. Okay, all right. I probably did it wrong or something. I don't know. Okay, because the informa- the the information you gave me is like the, the 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 link you sent to me is like you're sending me the link to to get like to access the account. Then it doesn't shows like the wire transfer that you did at such and such time. The process went through, etc. It doesn't show that. It shows directly to the bank itself and the options. Like if I want to go into my online account, I could click on the link and go directly there. It doesn't show that the process was done. No, uh, well, I don't know. Um... All right. So I, I think probably it takes a bit of a time to before it is before it can be confirmed. I'm not certain, but. I just want to confirm and to make sure when I get back to the account department, you did the process. You did it, right? What? I'm saying I just want to make sure that you did it so I can confirm the account department so they could wait a little more to see if the process comes in. Yes, so I just want yeah. to confirm with I just yeah. want to confirm with you if you you did have it sent through. Yes, yes, I, that's what we've been talking this whole time. I'm to, I'm to, I just. Told you, I did it. Okay. All right, so let me get back to them and let me get back to you because I want to confirm it before because as soon as it has been confirmed, I would let you know. But from that point, I haven't got any confirmation yet. So let me work on that and let me get back to you real quickly, okay? All right. All right. Okay. Thank you for now. Bye-bye. I'll Bye-bye. call you back. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Well, that's all for tonight, folks. Check out my second channel for more from this scam bait. Also, make sure to like and subscribe here if you haven't already. And until the next one, boat out. You have been ambated by Oda.